It's your game media TV. You hear me now? You better subscribe and don't play with the thing you heard me. <laughs> anyway, subscribe to the channel, people. Big up to everyone who has support the thing. Anyway, moving forward. Veteran dub mixer and record producer King Jamis told Mataran that he don't know nothing about music. Dancehall DJ and sound system selector Tony Mataran ranted at Dream Weekend that he was the greatest selector of all time because of his long list of accomplishments, including several world clash titles and a billboard hit. If you love soccer, we have dance on. You love dance on, we have dance on. Yeah, you love hip hop, we have dance on. It no matter if I dance on, soccer, hip hop, anything. When you see my around and turn the bench and you feel no. Tony Mataran said that his many achievements make him the greatest of all time. Now, according to the Jamaica star, Tony Mataran said, Is the world say I am the greatest of all time? If you look at the things that I have done in dancehall, there is no selector of our time that has completed so much tasks. I have the world titles, I did billboard songs, I have been pulling out crowds, you name it, Mataran did it. Tony Mataran also said he was part of the closing act of Sting and no selector has ever reached that level. The recent Red Bull clash, no Jamaican has represented and won that clash, so he's the greatest of all time. Every department he did it and the only thing he don't have is a Grammy and he's going back for it. However, King Jammy who has been credited for his contribution to birth of electronic dancehall music, EDM, believes that Tony Mataran don't know anything about music. Tony Mataran won several international clashes, including the World Clash Jamaica and the UK Cup Clash. Mataran used up his versatility into dancehall as both DJ and a sound man and crossover into the international market. His Dirty Wine single became a huge hit and controversial single as well in the dance experienced a surge of popularity around the world especially in Jamaican communities in parts of UK and North America. The song was peak at number 85 on the Billboard 100 chart. As for King Jamis, he is more like a foundation to the thing. In the 1980s, he became one of the most influential producers of dancehall music. His biggest hit was 1985 under Miss by Wayne Smith. And a Miss Ling Ting, and a Miss Ling Ting, and a Miss Ling Ting, and a Miss Ling Ting. <laughs> You're supposed to know it. Many credit this song as being the first digital rhythm in reggae following up the modern era of reggae. The dub was cut at 11.30 tonight. It's playing for you inside King Javis Yard at 10 minutes before the hour of 1 o'clock Thursday night through to Friday morning. All right, who goes there? Jamie's production and sound system 
dominated reggae music for the remainder of the 1980s and into the 1990s with many credits to his name. King Jammies worked with a lot of artists. You can think of but then Alton Ellis, Trinity, Dennis Brown, Gregory Isaac, you name it, a long list. What a bubble in love, what a bubble in love, what a bubble in love, what a bubble in love. That's the yawl for me, yawl for she yawl, that's a bubble in love. She'll look for me, yawl for she yawl, what a bubble in love. Mr. Umapanaman, that's a combination.